Hello, welcome back to the channel. Y'all, <clears throat> I'm back, y'all. And I ain't got no Rona. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to close out. If you see me in the same outfit, it's because I closed out my COVID video. Y'all, it was horrible. Um, but I am back. I feel better. The only symptom that I have that I can't get rid of is a smoke. It's a smoker's cough is what, um, what I call it. So I just wanted to do a quick tummy tuck update with you all. I am officially 10 weeks post-op. The time has gone by so, so fast. Um, honestly, everything is pretty much normal. Uh, I have an appointment on next week. I do have, no, I have an appointment once I turn 12 weeks. So I have an appointment in two more weeks. I do have a very small keloid um, that's like in the center and uh, on my belly button. It's small. It doesn't bother me. And my surgeon is going to do scar treatment. That's what we talked about prior to. So we'll probably start that. Um, and then I want to ask him about having lipo because my left side is a little bit more... It's not as flat as my right side. It's noticeable to me um, when I wear like form, like really form fit and clothes. I can see the difference. Everybody else around me is like, girl, you look good, but I can, I can see the difference. Um, oh, the reason I'm dressed like this, y'all, I'm on my way to work. I'm trying to hurry up and do this quick video. Got to get the, uh, get the kids ready. So I'll show you guys a quick body update. Then we'll do a channel update. So you can kind of know what to expect from me going forward. All right. So let's see if I can adjust this bad boy. Just a little bit, maybe. So this is what I'm looking at. I'm still pretty tight and swollen in my upper um and it been here, but it's not as bad. Um, keep in mind, like I said, I did not have the lipo, but I am going to discuss that with him. So this is like the front portion of my stomach. Um, this is what I'm looking like. You can't really see the key log. You can see a little bit. So, but like I said, y'all, that little smaller keloid does not um does not bother me at all. <clears throat> um, yeah. So I am very, very happy overall with my results. It's just small, like little tweaks that I feel like um, that needs to be made. So I'm gonna speak to my surgeon about that. <clears throat> That's for tummy tucks. If you guys do not notice, yes, I have braces for the second time. Um, I had braces back in 2016, from 2016 to 2018, lost my retainers, and then I had a very small gap that was starting to shift back, y'all. Y'all, my alarm wouldn't let me be great. It cut me right on off. But <laughs> I paid too much money to be going back, <laughs> and I paid too much money, so I shouldn't been wearing my retainers in the first place, but I lost them, <coughs> did not get them back. So, I got my braces on yesterday. They just did the top row. And then I'll come back in five weeks. I think my appointment is on February the 7th. And then they'll put the bottom row, bottom row on. So, if you can't really tell, I do not have ceramics. Oh, I just got like the bands white. I feel like I look like a kid. So, I just got the bands white to try to minimize the um the look of them so i'll do a braces update y'all i'm too old for this i'm i'm 32 <clears throat> too old to be having braces for a second time in my in adulthood so i did discuss with the orthodontist um he is gonna put a once my treatment is over my treatment plan is 11 months it's a limited plan because there's not much that needs to be done but um, he is going to put a permanent retainer on my top two teeth to help prevent that um, that shifting and that that movement. So, tell me to update braces. We are in the process of looking for a home, purchasing a home. Um, my landlord is selling in a few months, 
So we gotta get the ball rolling. So I'll take you on that journey with me also. If you are interested in seeing credit repair videos, let me know. I do have like a lot of information in regards to credit repair. I also sell like um, self credit repair kits. So if you're interested in it, let me know um, and I'll do like a video. Um, we do plan on sharing the process with you all. Currently, um, we are in the process with getting pre-approval. So I am a veteran. I served nine years in the Navy um, and three years in the Navy Reserves. So I have a total of 12 years of service. Um, so I'll be using the VA loan. A lot of benefits to it. Um, it's just kind of like, I'm nervous about the pre-approval process because this is the first step. Homes here in Jacksonville are continue, like I'm pretty sure if you're into the if you're in the housing market, you know the prices of homes right now are ridiculous. The particular side that we want to stay, the particular side of town we would like to stay on due to convenience um, and location for grandparents, my oldest kids, dad. Y'all, it's it's like almost four hundred thousand dollars for a home, and it's just like when oh, on the on the on this side, no, nah, ain't even nothing over there for it to be that much. So we are, and if you ever been to Jacksonville, Jacksonville is humongous. Okay, literally every other point of town is thirty minutes from one another. Like you can be in Jacksonville and still driving for another. 30 minutes to another side of Jacksonville. So we are expanding our <clears throat> looking to outside of this area because the home prices here are ridiculous. Um, there is one house that we want to go view. I think they have a few new construction stuff. I like because the Home Owners Association actually has amenities. Um, the only side of town that we are trying to avoid is the south side because this is extremely crowded on the south side of Jacksonville. Um, that side is like really popular now, up and coming, has a lot of things to do. However, y'all, it's too many people. It's too many people on the south side. So that is like the only area that we just told the relative like, you know what, we're going to expand our options because at this point, there are no new constructions. The resales are just as much as the new constructions. Um, and then you got, <clears throat> we were supposed to go view a house on Sunday. And then we look back and it was like, oh, it's contingent on a backup plan. Like, so y'all already have a buyer. Why y'all still advertising it? Like, you want people to bid back and forth? Because we ain't giving you above asking because the VA going to come in and do an appraisal. And then appraisal going to be like, um, this $50,000 that you told him you was, that you was going to get, and you must going to pay it out of your pocket. So, no, we not, we not even, we not entertaining those thoughts. So that's where we are in the process. We are working with a lender. Um, I don't mind sharing her her name. Um, her name is Jennifer Beeston, I believe. She is on YouTube. She has great, great advice. So go look at her channel. Um, she is certified in 48 different states. She has her licenses. So we decided to go with her. Um, based on some some other things that you got, you know what, guys, I'm gonna sit down and do a a video about this process because Micah is sick of looking. I'm starting to get sick of looking. Um, at this point, it's just like we just want to get on a contract for something that we both like, we both feel like is affordable, and something that we can finally get the ball rolling. Because at this point, yeah, we sick of it. He definitely sick of it, and I'm I'm sick of it too. At this point. Um, so yeah, got a lot of life changes going on. Um, tomorrow I register for my final semester of classes, y'all. And by my final semester, I register for my last two classes to finish during the summertime. I am extremely excited. I am ready to be done with school. Okay, I'm ready. So registration opens up tomorrow. Yeah, registration opens up on tomorrow. 
And then once I register for the summer, I contact my academic advisor and I apply for graduation for the summer. And then from there, we'll talk more about getting my teacher certification. So I'm excited. I've already in Florida, I've already done my general knowledge exam and passed it. I've already done my professional knowledge exam. Um, my degree, they do take, I can, my, since my degree is in psychology, I can get my social studies test and I'm taking my um, subject area test probably in the next month or two. I just have not scheduled it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out and that will be all of the checks that I need. Hey. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, <clears throat> as far as these braces, y'all, I had to pop some Tylenol last night because they're rubbing up against my gums. They don't hurt as bad as I remember them hurting the first time. They're just really annoying. Um, so yeah, I'll be getting you all with some braces updates. Now, I, after my appointment with my doc, my next tummy tuck appointment, I will try to do at six months. Yeah, at, at six months. Um, that is it, you guys. Very short video. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye. Hey, don't forget to, um, let me know if y'all, if y'all want that credit repair information. All right, that's it. Bye.